With all eyes trained on former President Trump's journey to New York to face a judge on criminal charges, the view from Washington focused on the political fallout. Moderate Senate Democrat Joe Manchin. I would hope uh, and pray that whatever comes forth that they've done due diligence. Republicans warning the indictment sets a dangerous precedent. Because it doesn't just smell political, it, it looks it. GOP leaders and the Trump legal team accusing Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg of a political prosecution. The still sealed indictment stems from the documentation of payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign. Mr. Trump denies Daniels allegations of a 2006 affair or any other wrongdoing. With the former president once again running for the White House in 2024, Americans divided. I'm celebrating the indictment of Donald J. Trump. Up to this point, he's been Teflon Don. The Democrats keep going after him and have they not learned since 2016 that every time they go after him, he just gets stronger and stronger? Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, who's just announced he's running for president, breaking with other potential GOP rivals to say Mr. Trump should drop out of the race. Your choice is either to fold and yield to Donald Trump to be the nominee or you get in there and fight for the vote. Hutchinson arguing the former president's legal troubles, including separate cases regarding alleged election interference and classified documents, distract from the issues that matter most to Americans. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Our 10 News political expert says in the short term, the indictment is great for Donald Trump in the polls. Some supporters calling it a witch hunt against the former president. He says Democrats get their mugshot picture of Trump and then would hope that he's in court during the 2024 election cycle. The hope among Democrats is that Donald Trump will be standing trial and so he'll have to be in a particular place at a particular time when he should be in Iowa and New Hampshire and other places trying to get the nomination. I'm out the best polls I think I've ever had, actually. And Lynch thinks that they will avoid charges related to the January 6th riots.